Francis, do you know how I was appointed to this expedition? I saved Sir John Barrow's son from a scandal. By chance in Singapore. I paid to have a very base matter settled that would have blackened the Barrow's name and the Admiralty's by association. As soon as I returned to London, I was promoted to commander. And when the Admiralty announced that there would be another attempt at the passage, well, I only had to say the word. That only makes you a man. Does it? What you describe is a surplus of political luck. Hmm? Not a dearth of courage. I'm a fake, brother. I challenge any biographer to tally up your acts of valor and then call you a fake. Francis, a man like me will do amazing things to be seen. My, my father... My father was a ridiculous man. Ruined himself with debts. He was a consul general in Brazil. And he and his wife would mix with all the wealthy Portuguese families in exile there. And my mother was probably from one of those families. I was never told more. I was born out of an affair. My father's cousins had to find people to raise me. My name, even my name was made up for my baptism. James Fitzjames. Like a bad pun. I'm not even fully English. I didn't know any of that. I've never said it out loud before now. I always felt I deserve more. So I went to sea age 12, and I began to build myself a great, gilded life that didn't humiliate me to live. So all of those stories, you would have my biographer tally as courage. It's all vanity. Always has been. And we are at the end of vanity. Then you are free. Hmm? Mind your courage from a different load now. Friendship. Brotherhood. Are we brothers, Francis? I would like that.